Right now I'm working on what I want to do to the headliner of that minivan. I've been thinking a whole lot about it. And I keep staring at this beautiful box that I picked up about three years ago, which I love. And as you can see, it has some wonderful things on it. Inspire, Journey, Explore. It's got a great compass. And I love compasses. Dream, Travel. What I really like is what's written on top. Do more of what makes you happy. So this is what I am going to focus on and my intentions for the rooftop of the minivan. Can I pull it off? You bet. However, I'll probably cut a few corners, use some tools, and try to make it as quick as possible because I don't like spending a lot of time on any one project. Along the way, I'll share that with you. I can't teach you how to do lettering or art or painting. However, whatever I can help you with, I will. It's your project as well. So come along. It's going to be fun. See there caught me. I'm taking a break having a cold one before I get going. So. Excuse me. I haven't had a Dr. Pepper in a long time so that should really get me spinning. So let me tell you what I got going on right now. I started the preliminary drawing. It's going to take me a little bit of time but once I get this thing up there, the underlining of my design I'll be able to paint pretty quickly through the process afterwards, but I want to show you the beginning of what is happening up there. So as you can see, I am starting to create what looks like planks on the ceiling. This is going to give me the effect I want. It's all said and done. So how am I doing this? I know you're curious. So let me show you what I'm using. My example, what I really want, the width of it, is from this piece of trim. When I can, I'll be able to use this hoe trim down the body of the van if I need to. But what's really working great is this shoreline painted. What I did was I took this and I drew the lines of where I needed them to go to measure my distance and so I can have my straight lines. I started from the edge of the door this way and I created one line as you can see going across, right? And then from there, a little hump, so I felt like this hump was a, created an issue so I have to resolve that. As you can see I have some marked out areas that I'm going to have to paint over, but more about that later on. It's really no big deal. I'm just sort of kind of anal when it comes to having for it to be like perfect or anything like that. So later on I can add the fun stuff, but right now it just has to be like right on. Anyway, if you're curious of what I'm putting it on there with, it's uh, this really cool little Sharpie. It's brown. You can use any color you want. I'm sure you can use black. I just didn't want to. I wanted a brown. I also bought a gray. They got multiple colors at your at Michael's. So I will go back to finishing my Dr. Pepper. Okay, so if you see this area right here, uh, if I continue going this pattern where it's plank, 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 I can put one more right here, but then I'm gonna have a skinny little plank right here that won't make any sense and I know that I know that these aren't 
lined up to be two of these. It's not as wide, see? So I'm going to start with the planks going this way. This is how you can control uh, your sizes of your planks. It's, it's not that harsh, it just takes a little bit of uh, thinking about it in the future. And if you see what I've done here, this is something that I thought I'd add a corner piece. I don't like it. So I'm just exit out. So what? I got paint over it. Good grief. It's nothing. It's just paint. You can fix any issues. This is why it's important to lay it out first before you get up there and you just start doing it. But you know what? Whatever. If you want to just do it, do it. It doesn't really matter. But I just want to let you know. That's how I do it. <laughs> is to add diagonals in areas where you know is not going to line up, all right? Diagonals look absolutely cool looking too. It's a great addition. it laid out to the pattern that I'm pretty happy with and now I'm going to start laying down the foundation of the painting but at least for now I can call it a night Maybe we'll go check out a local little football game So make sure to check out my next video. Painting. Until then.